moisturizer on it's a bit of a dreary gray morning this morning really cold as well a little bit of makeup i'm taking betty for a walk soon um and i just feel really drudgy today <laughs> so i had a lovely birthday um i'm going in with this i think it's jamie the makeup artist actually i keep thinking it's genevieve but is it jamie genevieve or something i don't know um i'm sorry i'm just not with it you know but it's skin nova it's the primer which i love really love the more i use it the more i love it so i'm going to wax some of that on um yeah i had a really lovely birthday um if you watched my vlog you will have seen i went out for a birthday lunch um the day before my birthday because craig was working on my birthday so we went out for lunch and it was lovely i had a seafood pancake which was absolutely exquisite and i've had it before so i knew that sensibly not to have a starter <laughs> and i didn't and i do love um they do a, a lovely sort of parfait there as well um anyway i didn't i thoroughly enjoyed my seafood pancake but i did have dessert now normally now I can only manage maybe a small starter and a main course, but I just can't do, you know, a lot of food. But I couldn't resist. They had a tiramisu. Oh, my God. It was amazing. Craig actually had it as well. And it was just one of the best. And I've had tiramisu in Italy. But this really, it was almost like a, built like a trifle. As tiramisu is, it's sort of laid, but it was in sort of almost quite a, quite a tall glass. It was just delicious, really delicious. So I did. I had a lovely birthday. Um, so that was the day before. Um, I took Betty out for a walk and saw some lovely friends that we meet on our walk. And then I came back and my lovely friend Dev and Emma and her husband John came. And we had drinkies and cake and nibbles. Not a lot of savoury nibbles, there was a lot of sweet nibbles out. So we did that, which was lovely. I didn't open any of my gifts until the afternoon. I opened Emma and John's gifts because they were there. But I didn't open any of my gifts until the afternoon. Um, because, you know, the day just sort of, suddenly it was afternoon. I hadn't opened anything, so I was very impressed. So I did that, opened them with Betty. Betty loves parcels. Um, as I've mentioned before, so she gets very excited when there's tissue paper and ribbon and things like that. Um, for the base, I'm using the Super BB from Aborian in the shade Nude, and I'm mixing it with, I've had this quite some time, Ghislaine. Um, it's their Paro Gold Foundation, which if you're looking for um, a high-end foundation that you want to give you that sort of classic satin look, nice coverage that will last, um i know this sounds awful but i always call this my funeral um foundation it's the foundation i wear when i know i'm going to be out all day and i i have it's the one i've reached for when i've sadly gone to funerals it just seems to hold and i don't have to think about it and i know you shouldn't be thinking about how you look at a funeral um but for me i've said before makeup for me is often that armor it's how I deal with things. It sort of makes me feel I can face the world now. Um, so Pro Gold, it's not cheap, but it's a super foundation. I've had this one quite some time. Um, it's the shade 12. Um, I only need a small amount of this. Um, but when it's gone, it's gone. I mean, I don't... I There isn't... <sighs> where i live it, i don't need to sort of always be made up that's the thing and that was bought in the very early days of moving down here when i was still sort of on city city time which is where you do get ready and you do get your posh handbag out and you do wear heels and where i live now you don't so i'm mixing the two together peru gold has quite a distinctive scent to it it smells of it reminds me of how products smell a long time ago in a good way right let's just blend that in normally i don't bother 
but Betty is still asleep. Um, she went downstairs this morning with Craig and she got in her bed downstairs and she's asleep in her bed. So I thought, well, I'll put some makeup on and she will let me know when she's ready to go for a walk. There, that's lovely. I have some of the Revolution Eye Bright um, Concealer. I'm currently using the shade Light. When it gets to the summer, I tend to use the shade Medium. Um, I'm just going to put it... Super. There you go. So, yes, I had a lovely birthday. And I was just... Lovely gifts and cards and messages. Um just really lovely a really lovely day um and we actually had when craig got home from work we had fish and chips which i know probably doesn't sound that exciting for birthdays but i love fish and chips and we don't have them very often so i had birthday fish and chips and i also had a drinky or two which i i rarely do but i do like a mimosa i think i said i am quite partial to the odd mimosa so i had about three and it got to just about eight o'clock and i thought i can't do this i'm so tired i went to bed <laughs> um but it was it was a lovely day it was a really lovely day um and i felt thoroughly spoiled um it's so lovely i'm really blessed with such nice people around me right i'm not going to do much with the eyes i've got this which is revolution it's their goddess glow shimmer brick um a homage i would say to bobby brown um and clinique used to do the shimmer checkerboard i don't know if they still do but i used to love their checkerboard stuff if you really want that glow they're incredible but i've got this but i do often use it as an eyeshadow um just a little bit of shimmer on the eye so i'm going to just take it's very hard to see in this light i know but this is sort of a pinky shade here so i'm just going to do the pinky shade so yes i had a lovely birthday um and i suppose now i need to think about the tree and of course we've got different furniture in the lounge now so um we're just gonna have to move a couple of the chairs around a bit more just to accommodate the tree it's had the same decorations for the last six seven years um i'm generally one that you know once once i've got it sorted decoration wise we might add occasionally to to it but um i i very rarely change a whole tree design um but it is nice to have i always think it it really does just make it cozy when you can just put the tree lights on i always think that's really lovely right just a tiny bit of shadow there i've got some of the uh, milk makeup it's their kush mascara it's just about on its last legs, to be fair. Um, just push the lashes in and up. Thank you to the person who um, commented about pushing their lashes up and then putting putting mascara on immediately. Um, I know Ali said it, that it really helped her curling her lashes, so thank you. And this is the thing, it's so lovely that when people comment, it really does help other people. Um, but Ali did ask the question, how did I first discover the pushing my lashes under my hooded lid? And it's a good question, Ali. Um, I honestly can't remember. You know, it'll have been one of those moments where, you know how quirky I am. I'll have just thought, oh, I can do this. Faffing with my, my eyes and my lashes or something. I honestly don't know when I first discovered it. And of course, you never think it's weird, do you, till you tell somebody and they sort of go, what? You think it's perfectly normal. But yes, thank you. It's always a good thing, this sharing on on social media of, of good things, helpful topics. Um, but thank you to Ali for letting me know that the comment helped. I know a few of you have said you're looking forward to my video about menopause and getting old. Um and anti-aging and all that um and all that jazz 
I'm conscious I do that on my soapbox sometimes and sort of have a rant. And I don't want anybody to feel that, you know, I don't know, overwhelmed or anything. Because obviously it's only my opinion. That's the thing. Um, and I always appreciate comments because I am quite blinkered sometimes with things. And it, it does help me when I read a comment and I think, oh, yeah, I'd never thought of it like that. Or it makes me think about my own opinion. And there's nothing wrong with realising that maybe, you know, you're not necessarily on the right track or there's no harm in, you know, thinking in another area. Um, I'm not great at always thinking outside the box, to be fair. Um, so it's obviously only going to be my take on it. I will endeavour to pass on what other people have have said um i don't want it to be a disagreement in in what people's opinions are it's just a different opinion um so yeah that will be coming soon um i've got this this is um collection makeup i love it it's their gorgeous glow um blusher and this is blush one and i just love their blushes um it's similar sort of I suppose it's looking a little bit like the Westman um, makeup. But I love this. It's so beautiful. It's such a lovely pink as well. I know it's probably, I think you can see it. It's not the greatest lighting. I didn't want to film with the lights on overhead because it really does make it very stark. And I think just too bright, to be honest. This is more intimate. And that's a beautiful one. I love it. It's just so smooth when you apply it. I'm going to put a lipstick on. Um, it's the Violette. Um, it's the Violette lip glaze. Um, it does go down to a matte, but I'm only going to put, I'm going to use my finger and just scruffily put that on so it's just a hint of colour just to lift the lip colour because my lips are quite purpley and blue in their normal colour quite smudged nothing refined about that lip and then I'm going to go in with the CC powder from um, by Terry there we go I feel a bit more human now Right, that's it folks, a mixture of high end and high street. To be fair, in this day and age, I don't feel there's a lot of difference between the two. Um, a long time ago, you could really tell the difference in quality, especially with foundations. Um, you could tell the difference between a high end and a high street. I don't think you can now. I think a lot of high street makeup revolution, collection, um, Barry M, um, Rimmel, Maybelline, they really do knock it out of the park. You know, their products are really, really good. So you can get a nice, a nice mix. But it's kind of your thing as well. If you like to treat yourself and your luxury is buying something high end, then fair dues. Do, you do you. That's the thing. You do you. Right, lovelies, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope the lighting wasn't too um, distracting for you. But as I said, I didn't really want to put... Loads of lights on overhead and just glare us all out with the bright light. Um, I'm going to go take Betty for a walk. Take care. Thanks.